edition of Alumni in Your Community, we stay inside our BCC family and talk with a woman who's used her position here at BCC to help students both inside and outside the classroom. Hello, I'm Joanne Carroll Connor and I am BCC class of 1976. I'm a Fall River native and uh, my interest has always been in education. Even when I was very young, my, one of my dreams was to become really an English teacher initially and that's uh, my undergraduate degree is in English. Um, but I ventured into the business area, a Durfee grad, um, and spent a semester up at Bridgewater and then transferred back here to Bristol Community College. I was very typical of our students uh, trying to work a 32-hour week as well as go to school full-time. And of course, that's a deadly mix. It's still a deadly mix. And many times the immediate uh, dollar wins out over the longer, you know, the long-range plans of getting a degree. It's a characteristic that it even, I find even today, it, which is that you can come in and talk to an administrator. You can come in and talk to somebody who is immediately going to help you with, uh, with what you need to do. It, they're not going to say, well, you need to go over there or you need to call. It, and that administrator for me was a lady named Patricia Scott, who I walked in maybe two weeks before school started and said, I'd like to come back to school. And she said, okay, here's what you need to do. And that woman just paved that way. And, I, and I, remarkably, we still hold that philosophy. I finished up in two years and then transferred up to UMD. Once I completed my bachelor's degree at, um, at uh, UMD, I came here in the, early, um, in the early 80s and started working under a grant program down on Durfee Street. So I'm, the, I'm not only an alum of the college, I like to consider myself an alum uh, at least professionally, of the old Durfee Street campus. And there's, there's quite a few of us still around. Uh, after that, while I was working here, I, um, I got my, back, my master's degree in business administration uh, from UMD, and then went away to work full-time for the sheriff's office in uh, New Bedford. Currently, I'm the associate registrar, and I'm very fortunate in that the registrar's office is one of those hubs in the college that get to deal with people everywhere. I, so I get to deal with faculty and students and administrators and support staff, not only here at, at in the Fall River campus, but also at the other campuses, as well as the satellites. In addition to my job here, my day job, I'm also an adjunct faculty member. I've been teaching here at the college since the early 80s um, for both credit and non-credit. Uh, currently, I teach Accounting 11 and Accounting 12, 51, 52, and 53. So it's, uh, I've also done some business courses. So again, the lines blur a little bit with, uh, with the two jobs because I'm always keeping the instructor hat on as well as the associate registrar's hat. Especially uh, satisfying for me is when you have a student, particularly for someone who hasn't been in school for a while, who comes in and they're very, you know, they're not sure they can do this and, you know, they're not sure that they can handle school. There's a lot of, a lot of other responsibilities. And to sit down with that person and say, you can do this, it's very, very re rewarding. While I'm teaching, I'm uh, helping students select classes. And while I'm helping students select classes, I'm also discussing, you know, what are your study skills like and are you setting enough time aside for that part of your life. So the roles kind of blur a little bit when we talk to students. But, and also too, if they need, of course with being part of the enrollment center, if they need help with their financial aid, or if they have questions about their program, or if they need help with another uh, part of the college, we just get on the phone and just, we just do that there. So it really is one stop in the sense that you don't have to say, okay, I'm going to help you with this little piece, but then you have to leave and get some assistance someplace else. And that's one thing, going back to that same philosophy that I saw with Patricia Scott, if you can handle it while a student's there and help them so that when they walk out, 
they've got the complete package. That's very, that's, that's very rewarding. It really is. There's not too many times or many places that you have that kind of reaction to where you work. Um, some folk, and it's uh, inevitably it's a positive one. So it's a it's a source of pride. And even my I have a very large family, and they'll say, well, and in, in whether they're in healthcare or they're in education or they're in business, and they'll say, oh, where do you go? And they'll say, oh, I go to BCC. And they'll say, oh, um, my sister Joanne works there, or my, you know, my friend Joanne. Works. There's an immediate connection there, and they'll always refer back, whether it's uh, a family member at Charlton Memorial Hospital or somebody else who's working in, in insurance. Where, wherever they go, there's that positive connection uh, with the college, and it really is a great source of pride.